welcome Freaks and Geeks, and this is Cass, and as promised, here is, um, Lucadia Chronicles, Lucadian Chronicles, something like that, I can't remember the name right now, the card game that I was talking about in one of my previous reviews. Anyway, so, I am going to battle these guys. Or at least watch the battle, because, as I said, the cool thing is that it battles without you there. So you can just view all the battles, or not. So. Battle 1. Um, commentary, what is it? So, I'm actually enjoying this game. Oh, and I know I noticed that this guy does not have his archers in the back, which might have been his downfall. Because if you have them in the back, your opponents will attack the people in the front first. Unless you're flying like that falcon, he'll just fly over and attack the person in the back. So Jenik of the Green would have lasted a little bit longer. And same thing with his uh, Wind Collar chick. I mean, you don't have to, because I found that a, a good strategy for Jenik of the Green is to keep her up front so that she gets hit, because every time a person with uh, tactical points gets hit, they get five tactical points. I don't care if it's actually called something else, call it uh, tech points. So there. So anyway, um, but he was able to attack people that had poison counters on them. So that complete, that quickly just tore up his middle uh, characters, his uh, archers. Now that guy's gonna get poison damage. See, my whole thing is that my assassin and my poison toad are to to windle the people over time with the poisons. So the poison toad gives poison take counters every time he attacks someone and every time he's hit. And battle one is victory. Battle two. Now, I noticed something very quick about this guy. You can't see it. He has three cards. Oh, I didn't mean to pause it. He has the very first three cards that you get in the game. And that's it. It says that his collection is three. Now, my collection is 23. I don't have good uh, uh, grouping of cards at all. But that's because I haven't paid for the game yet. Which means I haven't been able to go through all their missions and gathering up gold. Uh, to buy the expansions. So, right now, all I can do is do this and the other the uh, tier thing. The draft. And I hope that I win money. Or gold. Which it looks like in here I'm going to get a pretty good amount of gold. Especially if I keep fighting fools like this. Battle 3. Except for if I fight people like this. I'm not going to last long at all. Look at all of these people. They got, she's got a hewing people, she's got, I don't know what Haunter does. Haunter! Haunter, Haunter! Oh yeah, he does poison. He heals himself. 
the golem is just the, like strong attacks right off the uh, bat. And also the cave troll heals himself when he gets hit, but not by poison. And that Berserker is just high attack. I really want that card. Because with the Golem, he uh, deals himself uh, minus one, minus one counters. Which I still say this is done by Wizards of the Coast. Yeah, the Golem and my bird were. Well, that was a horrible matchup. So my bird does not have much uh, defense at all. In fact, now I think of it, I do have a better white card that is uh, two uh, points. It's still a guy that attacks in two uh, turns, but he has higher defense and a little bit higher attack. The trade-off, though, is that he's not flying. So... Which I haven't been, been able to utilize that to my fullest extent. Oh, and he gets another turn when he kills someone, I think. If I had someone stronger than the bird, I might have been giving this guy a little bit more run of his, uh, for his money. At least it's higher defense now. But that's not going to help at all. I got real close. Just need to survive just a little bit longer, but my first defeat. And I am not kidding you. I am not kidding you. My second, the person in my second battle is also the person in my fourth battle. I remember him, right? Right? Yeah, this guy. Guess how well guess how this battle turned out. No, I'm serious. Take a guess. Take a wild guess. Spoilers, I lost. Battle 5. Now, I actually like fighting people with good cards. Kind of gives it, not really, I don't know how to explain it, but I like watching a good battle, except for that poor Falcons getting wrecked. That was very unfortunate placement of that Falcon, though my Assassin's getting kind of torn up too.
That spotted knight almost looks like he's getting drunk. Like if you can't tell that that's a telescope, it almost looks like a beer bottle. And the way he's down like that, it's like, oh, I'm getting wasted. Oh man, I'm having a good time. At least they defeated all my people. You didn't really need to use that ability. Yay! Oh, that's another win. Versus Lou. Now, he has a spell card out, which you only can use if you have the uh, hero of the same element out. That one, I think, I don't know what it does. Hold on, can I look it up? Can I load it up? Nope. So anyway. It does something about flying, I don't know what. It seems to not do anything for him. Him sending my assassin to the back was kind of annoying. Oh, the Mimic guy does the same thing! That explains it! That is cool. I, I want that on my team. But I'm assuming it's only with uh, technical points, uh, techniques. I should just call it tech points. Such a good strategy, I pull that off too. Knock a bunch of people in the back and then use her uh, tech. Yep. And it's just attack too. So he doesn't copy her innate ability. But he's dead. and stay alive so hard. This is the longest that my golem has stayed alive. It has one attack. One attack left. No. Scratch that. He has zero attack and zero defense. <laughs> Logically, he can't do damage.
But of course he has to be able to- now he has negative one! Negative two! Wow. This guy, he has some good cards. It's just... He can't do anything with them. Now, Battle 7. Wait, what? Wait. Wait. Up. Uh, we'll load that up one more time. Little J has no cards. Anybody that faces Little J will win. And what, what I find is the most funny about this. He has enough for a team. Shortest battle in history, give out folks, right here. Win by default. And yet, sure enough, this little J has won exactly zero times. The guy, Boss B, who has three cards. I'm betting his only victory is against little J. <laughs> I wonder what Splatman has. I want to fight Splatman now. But I, I wouldn't mind fighting Boss B again, not because that's an easy victory, but because it's funny. Talk about asking you shall receive. Seven one. Battle eight and oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Really? 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 I have no words for this. None. At all. What just happened? So literally, that one victory Splatman has, I'm pretty sure it's from Little J. Wow. Can I find some substance here? I had like all of what, two good games? Jed, Lola, I guess Tiago was also a pretty good one, I can't recall. But still, I want to fight against Lola again. <laughs> she probably beat me again, but Pyros, I really want to fight Pyros. Battle 9. Facing this guy again.
this guy has potential, but the biggest problem, I think he needs to swap out that moat for another character, because that moat's not doing anything, from what I can tell. He has the ability to get me in a position where I easily can get screwed over. But with the person missing in the middle, he kind of misses that chance. You need someone with another uh, tech, so his mimic can mimic it. Battle 10! And again, this guy again. He actually defeated all my people. Battle 10, JK. No, I think that was 11 anyway. Battle 12. Oh lord. This guy again. Oh.
killed two of my people this time. It's kind of nuts. Could have taken out three. Wait, I, I, I just realized something. That was a different guy I fought. Has similar cards as the other guy. Wow. And look. He is falling behind because of the losses. I still have only one loss, same thing with Pyros. I won't fight Pyros now. Lola's still uh, flawless. Splatman still only has one. Boss B now has another win. Probably fought one of these two. Battle 13. This guy almost has the same team I do. Almost. I'm worried I think that golem's going to destroy me. Bandit is a little concerning too. I know he's going to knock me in the back if he doesn't kill me first. Oh, she's gonna die anyway. Damn it. That's a good thing. Well, except for that. I still had one person alive. Ah. <sighs> uh. Well, at least 
Lola uh, lost once. I wonder who she battled. And then Boss B won. Battle 14. Boss B. Yet again. Wonder how this is going to turn out. No, I might just fast forward the repeat battles. Because you know what's going to happen. Okay, so... Pretty sure... Was it Link that I... Yeah, it was the Link was the last one. Battle, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm sorry there's not much commentary, but I've already been through this battle several times. Okay. Yeah, I'm fighting Etihad. Etihad. However you want to pronounce that. And he has the same lineup as before. But spoilers, somehow he beat me twice. Did he just get lucky? Cause this is one of the guys that could beat me if he switched stuff around a little. Like maybe putting Janica and the uh, wind collar in the back. Especially the wind collar. Not understanding how it turns around for him. Okay, unless he heals, and then Janica goes before Alan for some reason. Yeah. Oh.
how does he do this? I guess he gets lucky with Rob? Okay, sends him to the back. He must have gotten extremely lucky with Rob. Okay, one damage now, because the spell's been drawn out. Yeah, got extremely lucky with Rob. Does he do that a second time? Because I lost twice in a row. gonna kill this next turn. But I'm hoping I hit that falcon before she heals. Okay, she's dead. Still doing like eight freaking damage to the falcon though. Sends him to the back again. How does this... Why is this so different than last time, though? Pretty sure his middle person was still the uh, mounted scout. Babel insert number here.
And again, not much to comment on this, seeing this battle already. Except the last two that I already battled the guy, I lost. Completely random. Which I find this interesting. I'm not complaining about it, I was just confused. I thought he switched up his team. But it's just luck. Because the, the turn, the turns are random. Except for if you have a, a special symbol that like represents a bunny or a turtle. Respectfully, speed. I can't form a sentence uh, correctly. That's what I like about his poison. Or not his poison, but his ability. To do it right, he can strike multiple people. Same thing with uh, Janica, the green. If you can knock people in the back, that's really great. And now my score is 13 of 4. This is like the fourth time I fought this guy. It's a little crazy.
he seriously did just get lucky the last two times. That's that's actually really weird. So I'm I'm going to go ahead and say that we're matched. Pyros. Yeah. Ooh, mana convert. I don't know what that does. Oh. But he only has one person that actually will be able to use that. Oh, he's going to be taking the uh, damage for a lot of people soon. I think two people would have uh, actually been better in the back row. That is a lot of boys encounters. This is actually about 20 and that just give me a win. Thanks. Thanks, little Jay. I don't know how long this will go. It says it ends today at 6 a.m. and it's past 6. About 21, though. Aggression? I thought 
Falcon would fly over to hit Janica. Unless aggression is doing something. Is giving them the extra tech points. Why isn't the Falcon attacking Tanaka? It has flying. Jay is Jay's mule. And I noticed that Lola has been knocked out of her uh, lead. Probably by him. Oh. I missed my last two. Well. Jay and Lou, apparently, I beat. So I'm getting 124. I need to stay on it. Oh well. Third place! Woo! What? Why did I get zero? Why did it show that I was getting money, but I got zero resources? That makes no sense. Well, anyway, that was Lucidia Chronicles. Let me know if you want to see me do another... Yeah, let me know if you want to watch me do another uh, run on this. Um, but next time I will keep on the battles. So... Subscribe if you want to catch me doing more, and also let me know if you want to see me do the second episode, or chapter, thing. And I will catch you guys next time.